Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Relapse Tackle. In this video we're going to be painting with pink with silver flake. So this is Stardust. I've had a few questions about the stuff with glitter in it and how well it works. So I figured I would throw together a quick video showing uh, the pink stuff. Um, I don't have too many colors with the glitter in it, so I'm just going to use what I have to show you. So you want to get the lead hot, just like my other videos, to the point where it um, is almost to the melting point. So it starts to get a little shiny, then you know you got plenty of heat into it. I'm using a high temp silicone cap over the hook eye. These are the larger ones. I'll leave a link in the description for the items used in the video. So if you want to check out the description. I don't make any money on the links that are in the description or anything, so um, feel free to check them out and use them. Um, so this silicone cap actually prevented me from getting um, enough paint on the nose of it. It blocked it, so I sprinkled on there a couple times because um, there was a little bit of bare lead showing, but it kept the hook eye from getting filled up so it's easy enough to just get it hot and sprinkle a little bit into it and then um, heat it up again so just cleaning off the hook shank now I'm removing the Teflon pin that I use for painting and pouring see it's kind of a little textured so we want to heat it up so that that smooths out And this does not require any fluid bed or curing in the oven or anything like that. So just get it hot with the flame. Um, I recommend using a pretty warm flame. Um, I know some people have had issues. I think they're using lighters and stuff like that and that's not hot enough. So with the paint already on the jig though, you're going to want to hold it a little bit further away. So you still got a little bit shown on the nose. So I'm just going to sprinkle some more over the nose. Um, and this is a half ounce poison tail with a three aught hook. Um, not my typical color for this style of jig, but it works. So when you have paint on, like I said, um, you want to hold it a little bit further away from the flame. I don't like putting the flame right down into it because it can kind of change the color a little bit. So you can see the flake a little bit in there. It's a little harder to see on camera than in person. It looks real good. And then I forgot to put my or get my eyes out of this bag, so I'm going to shake out the 3D eyes and then um, place them on the jig and with stardust like I've shown in other videos you don't need any glue or anything we just take them and uh, place them and press them right into the paint so here I'm going to show a little bit closer to the camera I haven't really showed this up close so just press it in and the paint kind of goes around the outer edge of the eye, so that really locks it in. So, um, yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, the paint was starting to cool down a little bit. This side was a little, didn't go in quite as deep as the other side, but still was in um, far enough where the eye is not going to fall off. It's not going anywhere. So it takes a little bit of time to get it down to where you got the right temperature and stuff in them to get the eyes set. And then I'm going to set it on the rack to cool a little bit. I need to do the skirt. So I'm going to use some old school um, round rubber skirts that my friend gave me You're, you'll want to put it um, towards the middle of the skirt though your hook you slide it in the center 
as close to center as possible so that you have pretty even strands all the way around. With the round stuff, it sticks out further than the stuff that they use more often today that's kind of more of a flat skirt material. Um, the round stuff sticks out quite a bit further, fans out a lot. So make sure that the jig isn't too hot for this process though. I mean, you, you want to let it cool down before you start touching the paint. It's pretty cool in this lure room that I built, so stuff tends to chill pretty fast. And then I'll use a little bit of Loctite Super Gel. You want to use the smallest amount possible in that fiber weed guard hole. Just a little little bitty dab. And then slide that in and give it a little twist. That way you get the glue seated all the way around it. And kind of spread out pretty good. So there it is. Thanks for watching. And then I'm going to trim up a couple of the longer strands. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and please subscribe for more videos.